Hey friends, welcome back. It's so good to see you. Today we're going to be talking about what should your foster children call you. Mom, Nana, your first name. There's varied opinions on this, so let's get right into it. Okay guys, so I wanted to talk to you about this because it's kind of a hot topic um, and I learned that right off the bat in the first night of our Pride training. Um, it, that topic came up and there was a lot of heated discussion about it actually and varied opinions. So I'm going to start with my opinion and that's just my opinion, so take it for what it's worth. You are obviously uh, have the right to have your own opinion on this conversation. So. I let the child lead this. Um, we don't introduce ourselves as mommy and daddy, but we do introduce ourselves as the mommy of the house and the daddy of the house. So for example, obviously with kids that are old enough, I say, hi Anna, my name is Kate and I am the mommy of the house. This is Greg, he's the daddy of the house and this is Lily and Marissa, the kids in the house. And we just kind of explain it like that. And half of the kids that we've had um, have been old enough to be verbal and to call me and they've all called me mama or mommy. Now with our situation it might be a little bit unique to the fact that we have biological children that are, that are young in the home and call me mommy obviously. So they, so they naturally just hear it. Um, they understand that that's how my, you know, my kids are getting attention or getting food or getting whatever. So sometimes that just kind of happens that way because that's what they're hearing. I don't correct it. If they want to call me mommy, they can call me mommy. With our foster daughter who just left, she called me mommy. Um, and then in front of her actual mom, she would call me mommy Kate. And her mom would refer to me as mommy Kate. Now that she's gone home, I'm, she just refers to me as Kate, but I've, like I've told you guys already, I have seen her a few times. Um, I see her once a week since she's left. And when she see me, sees me, the first couple weeks she still called me mommy. The last couple weeks she hasn't really like addressed me, so I don't know what she would call me. But I think, you know, she knows I'm Kate now. And her mom, when her mom heard me, heard her calling me that, she's like, wow, she calls you mommy. Eh? And she wasn't actually upset about it at all. And none of the bio moms have been. The boy's mom was actually the best about it. She was just like, oh, they're calling you mom. Like, that's really sweet. And she's like, she wasn't jealous at all. She was, and, and she talked to the kids about how lucky they were that they got to have two mommies and that love them, which was really big of her because I can imagine that that's got to sting a little bit. I can't, imagine how I would feel if my girls were calling somebody else mommy. So yeah, she she was really big about it and she understood that this wasn't about her and it was just about the kids and I was playing the role of mother and mom and mommy um, in those moments. So the other one, she was younger and she was just learning to talk so she would call us mama and dada because same thing, that's where she would hear, hear Lily and Marissa calling us. So her mom I didn't have much contact with so I don't know how her mom felt about it or if she even knew that she called us called me that but here's my take on it you don't introduce yourself as mommy you don't introduce yourself as daddy you never want to make these kids feel like you're replacing them their parents um or their mom but if they call you that I think it's actually hurtful to them to keep correcting them. In the beginning I would say, oh, you know, my name's Kate or Mommy Kate or whatever. But if they just started calling me Mommy, then I just went with it. A lot of the times the kids just want to feel like they fit in. They, their world is in turmoil and they just want to feel like they fit in and like they're every like they're every other kid. Like they have a mommy and they have a daddy. So, you know, I'm not going to constantly correct them and say, oh, I'm not your mommy because I am their mommy and because we want to adopt in the in the end of this process one of these kids will we will become their mommy and daddy forever so that's just kind of my take on it I know there was a lot of opinions where and I'm sure I'm going to get some in the comments where there's that you're not their mother there's no way that they should be calling you that you should be very clear about it that you you know they should call you by their first name I've already gotten a couple comments about it so you know, take it for what it's worth. That's just my opinion. I'm not going to, if the child chooses to call me that, then I'm not going to say no. It's just them trying to fit in and them trying to be normal. And that's how I feel about it. So, like I said, I don't introduce myself as mommy. I say I'm the mommy of this house. If they're young enough to understand that. Like, uh, the very, at first I say I'm Kate. Like, I just use my name. But they have to understand and establish the rules as well. So once the social worker is gone and, you know, we're having a little bit more of a conversation, 
and they don't always remember my name <laughs> as well, which could be another reason it's just easier for them to call me mommy if they can't remember my name right off the bat. Remember, when they're coming into your home, everything is new. So their brain is kind of in this fight or fl flight state. They're not remembering all the details being thrown at you. So sometimes being called mommy could just be like they actually forget your name. So yeah, that's my take on it. I just wanted to let you guys know that. I know some of the some of the foster parents I know that are a little bit older, like more of an actual grandparent age. They'll go by grandma or grandpa or nana or papa. Because we all know people, most kids already have two sets or more of those. So that's an easier one. I, th I think the older the child is, the more they're not going to call you that. A, because it's just not natural feeling for them. But the younger they are, they are, like, especially if you have other kids in the home that are calling you that, it's just, it's bound to happen. You know, I've heard of some situations where kids in care will call their foster parents by their first names when they're at home and stuff, but when they're actually around, people are around friends, especially if it's a new situation, they don't necessarily know that they're in foster care, that they'll actually call the mom or dad, say they're picking them up from a friend's house or something. They'll call the mom and dad in front of their friends or peers, just because they want to feel like they fit in and they don't want to have to explain their whole situation. It kind of keeps them anonymous, um, especially if they're in a new home and the new friends don't know about their situation. So I've heard of nicknames as well, like you call me Nini or BB or Mimi or whatever. <laughs> Especially if you have the child from birth, you know, instead of kind of teaching them mama, mama to call you, you may want to teach them Mimi or Nini or whatever you want. Uh, or auntie, auntie is another one that I've heard a lot of foster parents go by. But for us in this stage and the kids, the age of the kids that we get, we just go by mom and dad. Again, we don't introduce ourselves that way. That's just what they happen to call us and we go with it. We let the child lead. Anyways, I hope that was helpful to you. I know a lot of you had some questions about that. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. You're going to see foster care and adoption related content, parenting stuff, and as well as a little bit of mama beauty thrown in there. Well, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.